Hey, it's Disco Biker slash Barefoot Acrylics back at you. I'm going to do a quick little 8x10 dip. I had a request on a liquid pouring page on Facebook. I wanted to know how I did it. So I'm going to do a just a little dip and I hope it turns out. Okay, I've got just a thin layer of titanium white, titanium white down as my negative space, okay? I didn't put anything on this one except for swipe my finger on it, but okay. Got a thin layer of white. And I'm just going to do a general, my general floral design, because anytime I pick out hearts or something like that, it comes out like a giant blob. So, I am going to use some grass green. And I'm just going to lay down a couple little V shapes, like, sort of like grass. It doesn't have to be grass, but it's grass green. And then I've got some light olive green. And in between, I'm going to make some more V's. Alrighty, and just making a couple of green stalks like that, and yeah, let's put a couple of grass green ones in there too. You just want to be careful you don't get too much or else it just becomes a big old giant blob. Then I just make little shapes like flowers. Here's some, uh, this is metallic sapphire by Anita's, the rest of it's uh, master's touch. Just uh, you can make a circle, or you can make a tulip shape, or whatever you want to make. Um, sometimes I make circles. Sometimes I make something that looks like the shape of a flame, or whatnot. Okay, here's a uh, permanent red. So I'm just gonna make a dippity do, and you can fill them in. You don't have to fill them in all the way because they will blob a little bit when you press. Just gonna put a red right there, and um, let's put a little bit of light magenta in there. Let's put one right here, kind of a tulip shape, sort of. Okay, and then how about um? Ooh. I'm also a fan of this right here, which is phthalo blue. So let's put a little bit of phthalo right there. Yeah. Loving that. I like phthalo blue and purple and things like that. All right. And then um, if you want, you can do something like uh, take any color. This one here is cobalt blue. And you can outline any of your little shapes. So here's the red. I'll just put a quick outline around that red. And let's put one um, around this red. Just a little squiggle. And then sometimes I put yellow up top. Either I'll make a little corner sun or I'll just put a red squiggle. So this time I'm just going to put a just a little bit of a squiggly yellow line. There's not enough room really to make a sun or anything, so I'm just going to put that there. And if you get too much on this small canvas, it's a